Americans. He was part of the Native American revival in the 1960s, one of the founders of the American Indian Movement. And in 1975, on the Dakota Sioux Reservation in South Dakota, in the United States, there was a brutal attack by the Federal Bureau of Investigation, the FBI, on the activists, the Native American activists in the reservation, on their own land, at their own home. These white FBI agents entered their territory and opened fire on the houses where the activists were inside. There was a, a shootout among the Native Americans who were protecting their land and the FBI agents, and there were several killed, including two FBI agents. No one knows who shot the FBI agents, but when Leonard Peltier was arrested and brought before the judge, the judge said it didn't matter if he was guilty or if he was innocent. Someone had to pay for the death of these two agents of the repressive apparatus of the United States of America. And Leonard Peltier was thrown in prison. And he's been in prison ever since. Ever since February 1975. The longest held political prisoner in the United States. He's 80 years old. He's very ill. And it's time that he is, should finally be released and sent home. President Biden, before he leaves office in January, must sign a pardon to allow this great Native American an example for the entire country and for the entire world to let him go home. So we are here today in Florence, as we were earlier in Milan, in Genoa, in Naples, and in Rome, to say that in Italy, we hear his voice. In Italy, we hear his suffering. In Italy, we demand from the U.S. authorities that he be released. We ask the consulate here in Florence to notify the State Department that here in Italy, we are asking that he be released. We are demanding that he be finally released. And we are not alone because in all of these decades and decades, almost 50 years, many important figures at an international level have called for the liberation of Leonard Peltier, Nelson Mandela. And here in Florence, let's remember that we have a stadium named after Nelson Mandela. And Nelson Mandela called for the release of this heroic man, Leonard Peltier, but also the Dalai Lama, also that great South African anti-apartheid activist, Desmond Tutu, also the president, the secretary of the Soviet Union at the time, Mikhail Gorbachev, called for him to be released. The pop singer, Madonna, has asked the U.S. government repeatedly to release Leonard Peltier. Rigoberta Menchu, a representative of the Native Americans in Guatemala, who suffered a terrible genocide with the collaboration of the state of Israel during the 1980s. Over 200,000 Native Americans killed. And Rigoberta Menchu has demanded that he be released. Also, Madre Tere Mother Teresa in Calcutta, Mother Teresa of Calcutta, called on the U.S. government to release Leonard Peltier. And many others have raised this demand, and that's what we're doing in Florence this evening. Free Leonard Peltier, free Mumia Abu-Jamal, free all of the political prisoners in the United States of America. Free Leonard Peltier! Uh,